All right. We are coming to the end of our five things that suppliers need to do to succeed when selling through distribution. Number five, and this is one I purposely put to the end because I think it's the most important one. And that is that it's all about the end user. Yes, you are a manufacturer. Yes, your immediate customer is your distributors. But at the end of the day, it's the people who buy your product, install it on their equipment. So it's the owner operator. It's the fleet. It's the service center that's buying from your distributors and installing those parts. It has to be all about them. So talk to me a little bit about how a company can have this focus on the end user and how that contributes to better relationships with your distrib- uh, distributors. Indeed, I think uh, all manufacturing companies, marketing departments, their, their ultimate goal when you really boil it down to its essence is to create a brand champion at the end user level because that's where the word of the mouth, word about mouth marketing comes in through and it's where the brand loyalty exists. So sometimes you know, you'll have a distributor that may change a supplier of a product and have difficulty changing their end user because they're so entrenched. And so one of the things that I found most valuable at all levels of my career has been to do field work and to, to be there as a manufacturer in the garage. And you can't wear your, your nice Oxford shoes, you know, when, you, when you're in there, right? You have to be really in the truck and on the truck and, and seeing the application of your products as they experience it at the service level. And so whether that's a fleet garage or a service center, the best information is is voice a customer. And the only way to get it is to go see them. Yeah, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, as a manufacturer, when I started my career, I worked in the field with my distributors. Then when I moved to, a, to the distribution level, I made it a priority to work with my suppliers. And it always benefited the end user customer, which of course has a good economic impact on your sales uh, results. So Sampa is really working hard to listen to their distributors and to establish this wide footprint across North America so that the product, they're a company that stocks a lot of product. They control their own manufacturing. Their inventory levels are great, but they had a problem where they had one warehouse and they just weren't able to get the products to their distributors fast enough. So they're addressing that issue by expanding their footprint. Listen into what they uh, have accomplished thus far and their plans for the near future. Yeah, and in order to support these distributors, uh, last year you were telling us about how you were going to expand the footprint here in North America. So give us an update on what that, how that's turned out. Well, uh, so we we set up, now we are up to four warehouses in North America. Okay, tell us where they are. So one is Frisco, north of Dallas, Texas. The other one is south of Chicago in Illinois. Um, uh, Atlanta, north of Atlanta, Beaufort, um, uh, in Georgia, and uh, the the fourth one for this year is going to be operational end of December, beginning of January, in Fontana, California. So you're covering uh, the East Coast, the West Coast, the South. You've got it covered. And we're not done. No, we're not done. We have two more warehouses that we're planning for next year. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, one is going to be somewhere in the northeast, a smaller warehouse to be a kind of a, a quick reaction warehouse to the that market, New England, uh, you know, uh, that area or North Atlantic. Um, and then uh, another one in probably in West Canada. Yeah. Okay, somewhere. And, and when you're dealing with um, distributors, you know, inventory is very important. Absolutely. This is something that you've emphasized before. So what does having these strategic warehouses do for your distributors? Well, two things. It allows us to maintain more product in place at all times, right? So I have more space where to inventory product, and that's exactly what we do. We utilize each one of these facilities fully. Um, and, uh, and, and the second thing, it allows us to get to the customer a lot quicker, yeah. right? Two warehouses, they are very strategically located, uh, uh, Chicago and, um, and Dallas. But when we're talking about the coasts, uh, either the right or the left coast, we need to be a little bit quicker. So these additional warehouses will allow us to get to anywhere in North America within two days.